Top 5 Ways to Address Trauma from a Trauma Therapist Number 5. Medical Intervention It may not address the core issue of the need for physiological integration of our experiences, but it is an incredible way to get symptom relief, and that is so helpful. Number 4. Physical Exercise and Yoga now, every day we get a buildup of physical, emotional energy from our experiences. We need to have movement to keep those flowing. We don't want to add to the backlog that trauma is already. Number three, strengthening the ventral vagus system in order to increase the ability for autonomic nervous system regulation. Now, there are plenty of breathing exercises, uh, visualizations, targeted stretches, and other practices that are well-researched ways to strengthen the nerves within the ventral vagus system. The stronger the ventral vagus system, the more you're able to move the energy in motion through your body, aka emotion. These exercises are right here on my page. Check them out. Number two, somatic trauma processing techniques. All the way from popular ones like EMDR and brain spotting to emerging ones that I think are even more efficient, such as somatic experiencing and mindfulness-based somatic emotional processing. These techniques bring a quality of attention to the area of the body that is holding this trauma. If we can bring a quality of attention to that area, it will begin to move through that ventral vagus system. And so once it moves through the guidance of your practitioner, you get well versed in how to bring that quality of attention to the area. You combine that with the strength in the nervous system and the autonomic nervous system regulation. And what happens is what we call involuntary physical responses. Shaking, trembling, crying, sounds that is the energy and motion through your body it's moving up the ventral vagus system all the way through the brain stem all the way down to the prefrontal cortex here that's why sleep and rest is important after these sessions because you will integrate that data during your REM sleep and number one stop adding trauma to the world the fact is here in the United States we are a military industrial complex there's nothing wrong with having a military, but when you combine that with business and profit motive, what does a military industrial complex or empire need? It needs endless wars, forever wars. This creates trauma for the victims of this colonialism. It creates trauma for the brave men and women who are fighting in these conflicts. And it creates trauma for the citizens who are just walking around on to the next stimulation again and again and again as a way of avoiding the what is happening. The what is happening is incredible atrocities towards mothers, babies, children all over the world. If you want to address trauma, we need a new level of bravery. That is every single one of us standing up and saying no. We will not be a military industrial complex anymore.